Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, this video is about creating digital flat plans in InDesign. And I'll show two ways of doing so inside of InDesign. Uh, the first method, method is actually just making a, sh a sheet of paper, a landscape format paper, and then showing a flat plan on that one piece of paper. The other way is by using the page panel to show how your pages are distributed throughout your magazine. So let's take the first one, which is actually just by do going to File New and creating a new document. We'll make sure that this is, let's say, uh, an A4, that's fine. A4 page and it's landscape orientation. Of course, it's not facing pages. It's just a single page. I don't want that to be a facing page. Um, doesn't really matter what the margins are set to, so I'm just going to create a document. Bam. Okay, so here we have a page that's going to show me, let's say, 64 pages. Let's... That's a good, good number, good number. Okay, so um, to do so, it, you know, I would probably like in the future to put in content on all of these 64 pages to show what's going to be on them later on. So I'm going to create these 64 frames by using my image rectangle tool the, called the rectangle frame tool. So now I'll just you know, drag one huge, one huge rectangle that goes all the way from my top left margin to my bottom right margin. But I will not let go of my mouse button. You know, I'm, I'm still in the, the process of making my frame. I haven't, you know, released the button. And that's because then I want afterwards to hit the right arrow key so I can divide my rectangle into columns and likewise I'll hit the up arrow to divide it uh, horizontally and that way you know right now I'm at 16 pages you know I want these to be portrait format you know it's very rare that you find a landscape format magazine so normally you know I would click the right key more times than the up key. So right now I'm at one, that's eight, 16, 32. Okay, so I'll probably just hit up one more time and right one more time. Two, four, six, seven, right? That's eight and that's, okay. So right now we're at 40 pages, it seems. No, 50 pages. Uh, I'll just hit once more time. So this is 60 pages and I'll just hit right one more time and that should be 66, is that correct? Six. Yes, it is correct. 11 um, in um, horizontally and six uh, vertically. So that's 66 pages. And you know, when I release my mouse button right now, it created all of these pages. Um, so, and since I know that the first page of a magazine will always be facing right, because in European countries we read from the first page you'll open will be standing right, and then you open it, and then you have a left and right facing page. Uh, so that means that I'll actually delete the first page here, because there, it, there will be no left page. Likewise, at the bottom down here, I delete the, the last page right here because there will be no right page. And this gives 64 pages. Yay! Okay, so next off, uh, the next logical thing to do would actually be to move them, um, to move the second column in towards the first column so it seems like those are actually attached to each other so it's left and right facing pages so i'll just select with my selection tool i'll just select the second column uh, and then drag it so it it's smart guides connects it to the pages left of them 
And I'll actually just do this everywhere. The fourth column, I'll select that, and I'll just move that to the third column. And likewise, the sixth column, I'll move that towards the fifth column. And if I was being logical, I could actually select at once second column, fourth column, sixth column, eighth column, and so on. And, you know, just move them all at once instead of having to do this several times. Um, in the end, I found out that I was not being so logical because you see there's actually a column out here. Let's just say it's not 64 pages. Bum. <laughs> Whoops. And delete this one at the end. Um, so actually, now we have a flat plan prepared. Uh, this could be the the amount of pages that uh, that's in our magazine. Uh, often, just to uh, illustrate how they are connected, I take my line tool and I just drag it from the top uh, column two all the way down to the bottom of column two, and then I give it a stroke color. You see what I'm doing right here. So you can see how they are connected right there. Does that make sense? I'm just going to use the line tool. And I simply click from the top uh, between the two frames in the center of it. And I drag it all the way to the bottom of the margin. And uh, in my case, I put it to a weight of four. That's mostly so you can see it. A weight of four is really a huge uh, stroke, so so perhaps two would be more proper on your computer. Uh, this though indicates that it will be read from top to bottom instead of from left to right, right? Does that because I've connected the line downwards? I hope that makes sense. And of course, if I did it like this, I would do it again here and again here. I'm just holding down out to make copies. Oops, that went too fast. And this way we can, you know, as, as you create your pages in your um, magazine, you can simply just, okay, so let's say you created page number five. Then you could simply just uh, have that page five exported as a PDF. And then you could go to file place, which is command D. I'm just going to place something random. Let's say I created something. I'll, I'll just create something from, from Rocken instead. But let's say it was a magazine page. Um, so I'll just uh, go to yeah okay so I'll just let's say this is a page from my document frame fitting options god damn it you know, because I'm working uh, at a screen that's a lower resolution because I'm using the projector, I can't see the fitting options up at the top. So I'll just right click and choose it from in here. And I'll just choose to uh, fill the frame proportion, uh, actually f fit the content proportionally. Like that. Um, and then you can see, okay, on this page, uh, this is what's going to be located there. So as you create the different layouts for the different pages, you could actually just place them in here. So that way, when you're done, you should have a finished digital flat plan containing all the pages for all of your magazine. Does that make sense? Awesome. Uh, that's how to create a digital flat plan using the one way to do it. Okay, the second way to do it is actually if you created your final magazine. Um, so, so this is the second way I'm going to show now. This I'm just going to create a document 
which is going to represent a magazine. So it's going to be, <coughs> you don't have to do this. The second one, you don't have to do yourself because this is so easy to do. You don't even have to do anything to in order to remember it. So I'll create an A4 page um, and I'll set it to facing pages. Um, and let's say I'll create 64 pages. Um, and I'll just, of course, you'll be using a bleed edge if it was to print. Okay. So uh, let's just uh, pretend that there is some design on these pages. I'm just going to make them green. You know, that's, that's a really awesome design. I'm going to make a green page. Um, if I could just use my green. And the page next to it is going to be blue. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Perfect. Okay, so you see here I've actually created a lot of pages that are green and blue. The, the reason why these are all green and blue is because I created it on my pa parent page. Um, so in this page panel, the everything that goes on uh, and is relevant is actually located in the page panel because we have the 64 pages. Let's assume these 64 pages were created by you and they actually have some relevant content on them. Well, then you could go into your burger menu of the pages and you could simply choose in the view pages, you could choose to see them horizontally instead. And that way you'll see them actually like a, a, a flat plan. So, uh, and if you want them to be shown differently, you could just change, you know, the width of the page panel. So if you want, if you prefer to see, see them like, let's say this, um, let's say this is how you want them to show. You could simply just shift command four click if you're on a Mac and then take a screenshot of your um, of your layout and then it's on your computer as a PNG file on a on a on a PC of course you will be using the scissor tool to do, do this so this is a different way of doing it this is if you have completed it uh, as one file as one InDesign file with all the pages inside of them you might as well instead of having to design a digital flat plan you could simply just take a screenshot of your page panel where you see them shown uh, horizontally instead of um, vertically. Yes, that's how to create digital flat plans. So, I have nothing more to say today. I hope you're doing well out there. Have a nice day. Yeah. Listen to metal. Uh, or not.